Darling, um, there's something I have to tell you. Yes, what is it? I think I'm pregnant. Really? Wow, that's great, Mana. Fantastic. I'm really happy too. Wow, so we're gonna have a baby. Do you think it'll be a boy or a girl? Which are you hoping for? Um, when do we want a boy or a girl? That's the question. And this is kind of a serious one here. Um, let's see what happens if I type in each of them. I think I'd like a son. What about you, Mana? Me too. Great, we're gonna have a family soon. I'm so excited. So am I, but I've got to work hard. I'm gonna have to support the three of us soon. I'd like to have a daughter. I think I'd like to have a daughter. What about you, Mana? Me too. Okay, everything's the same from there. And how does he say if he doesn't care? I don't care. I don't care. Either is fine. I'll be perfectly happy with either. What about you, Mana? Me too. Great, we're gonna be a family soon. Now, the actual answer. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this since before I started Room Factory 1, and I still haven't got a good answer. It will affect the game severely depending on which one you choose. Now, do you prefer boy or girl? I'm going to pick a daughter. My friend Emily, who actually started this Let's Play with me, uh, has been saying, hey, you never... I never get to see you from this perspective. I never get to see that kind of thing. And I'm like, yeah, that's fair. That is completely valid. And know that this will cause a huge amount of other issues unrelated to this. But, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. I think I'd like to have a daughter. What about you, Mana? Me too. Great, we're gonna be a family soon. I'm so excited. So am I, but I've got to work hard. I'm gonna have to support the three of us soon. We're gonna have a baby! Aww. Okay, so I thought this was something... I misunderstood the requirements for this. I thought it was after 15 days your wife would tell you she's pregnant. So I was like, I have no idea if this is 15 days from the day I proposed or the day we got married, so I'll just go for the proposal date and that'll be fine. Apparently it's 10 days after, and I just hadn't spoken with her the last couple days because I haven't really played, so back to what I was doing before. Oh. It's an earthquake! That was a pretty big one, woo. Well, it looks like it's over. I hope everyone's okay. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. That's all she cares about. Earthquakes, who needs them? Give me just a minute just to chop down the wood. So, theoretically, this is the day. Our baby's gonna be born soon! So, like, tomorrow? It says five to seven days, so that means we should probably have it within the next day or so. What? What? I forgot that, but... Um... Not always, there's suddenly a baby that I guess I wasn't there for. So really, Kyle, you're not a very good father. But that thing is massive! <laughs> Honey, our baby's been born. Wow, that's incredible, Mana. Look at daughter, it looks just like, it looks like she takes after you. Wow, I never imagined to be a father. This is such an amazing feeling. We need to think of a name, the most wonderful, perfect name. Her default name is Arya. Now, if you have a son, his default name will be Aaron. If that sounds familiar, then you probably watched the previous video. We'll get into that in a bit. It will matter what you name them. Be sure that you pick a good name for them. Arya, yes, that's a great name. I love it. Good, we've already settled on a name. Arya, remember to eat well so you can grow up healthy and strong. Mm, growing up. What is it? I was just thinking that we need a school for Arya to go to. You're right. 
Now that our baby's been born, I'll try talking to Byron about building a school. Great, let me know how it goes, honey. Sure thing. Go talk to Byron about building a school, honey. I know you can convince him. Oh, and just to remind you, Byron will only discuss town business when he's on the first floor of his house. Okay. So, if any of you remember one of Mana's final requests, her talking about wanting to be a teacher, her talking about what it would mean to her to be able to do that, and me saying that maybe someday I'll be the one to build the school. This is the primary reason why I wanted to marry Mana. Not even just because it's canon, not even just because oh, some of the other dialogue makes more sense. It's because of this moment, the moment where they made a promise together. And now, through it all, Kyle stood up and he's building a school, not only for the love of his life, but his own daughter. That is why I'm doing this. Because honestly, it's just so sweet. Give me just a moment for time to pass. I want to build a school. A school? That's a pretty big proposition! It's really important to me and my wife. I see, well in a town of this size, children are normally taught at home. But Mayor, even if there are only a few children in this town, I still think it's important for them to all learn together. Hmm, that might be true, but have you considered the cost? Building a school would be very expensive. I'll pay for the cost of everything. Oh my! How altruistic of you! Very well then, I'll provide Cherry Blossom Square as the land for the school to be built on. Thank you very much, Mayor Byron. To build the school, I'll need 1,000 pieces of wood and 100,000 G. Are you still sure you want to do this? I am. I'll get the material somehow. A school. It's an exciting prospect to be sure. Well, let me know when you've got the materials to build it, Kyle. I will. We're currently at almost 3,000 lumber. And we're currently at 578,662 G. We have what we need. Oh, you have the materials and the money required to build a school, I see. Well done, Kyle, well done. Thank you. I'll call in some favors and get the best men I know on this project. The school should be finished in ten days. Ten days? You can build the whole thing in ten days? It'll be no problem. These men are the best, after all. I'm looking forward to the completion of the school, too. Alright. Guys, I will meet you all in ten days. We're finally getting to this point. The next story thing will happen after the school's built. So give me just a minute. In the meantime, I'll just be taking care of my monsters. All of my crops in the dungeons are full. And I'll probably chop some lumber while I'm at it as well. See you in a moment. And it is now the second. Ten days after we started building it. Today's the day the school should be finished. Let's go and see it. Alright. I'm going to save real quick. Give me a moment. This will be one of the final chances we get. So I'm going to be looking at this. We're at nearly 2200 wood, even after spending a thousand. We're at nearly 1253 feed. 22% of all items and 45% of the crop records. I'd say we've done pretty good with that. What you're supposed to do... Hope you guys enjoyed that music.
So you'll have two crop fields here to work with now. And if you walk up to the school... Well, the school's finished! Congratulations, honey! The school looks fantastic! Thank you. We're actually not going to continue this conversation, now. If you do this, if you walk into the school, the next part of the game begins. A huge storm will roll in, and you will lose at least a third of your crops from all the dungeons, and you're done. <laughs> if you haven't harvested those crops, you will be in a bad state. Mind you, no matter what you do, your field on your farm will be destroyed. There is no coming back from this. So I would suggest take care of any kind of farming you need to before this. We're going to go back to here now. And now, we're going to wait until after midnight. There is a time period where we can avoid the storm. So let's do that. Alright, it is after 12.30am now. And supposedly, this is the time. If you enter the school now... Wow, the school is finished! Congratulations, honey. The school looks fantastic. Thank you. My, my, my. What an impressive looking school. I told you I'd get my best man on the job, didn't I? Yes, thank you for your help, Mayor Byron. With such a fine school, the future looks bright for our town. No, for the entire kingdom of Norad. Well, you know what they say. Children are the future. It's not just a saying, it's the truth. Just think, honey. In a few years, Arya will be going to school here. Yeah, it's amazing to think about, really. It is. Oh, I can't wait. With that, winter changed to spring. Chain spring changed to summer. Summer changed to fall and fall to winter, and the cycle continued. Then, during one stormy night, as spring came again, and the flowers of the cherry trees began to bloom anew. I remember it all now. I finally remember why I came to this town. And I know why I had to build a school here, but I don't have time to explain it to anyone. If Arya can conquer the four dungeons, the rest will follow. I'll just have to leave enough clues. I just have to leave quickly. This is something only I can do. Forgive me, Arya. Forgive me, Mana. Please take good care of Arya, Mana. This is for the future of the town. No, for the future of the country. Daddy, what's wrong? It's still dark outside. Sorry, Arya. I didn't mean to wake you. That's fine, but what's wrong? Arya, be a good girl and help out your mother. You can do that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give this to you. You won't understand it yet. Arya received the ancient scroll. If you study hard in school, you'll understand it one day. When that time comes, everyone will be counting on you. Okay, um, are you going somewhere? Yes, I have to leave now. I'm sorry, but there's no more time. D daddy wait, Daddy! Open your eyes and look around. Spreading your wings to the sky. Making your way to Wonderland. Fear the world ready to fly high.
Good morning, Arya. School finally starts today. Yay, I can't wait! You're finally old enough to start attending the school that your dad helped build. Mommy, it's been a while since Daddy left. Are you lonely? It, I was sad when he left, and sometimes I still am, but as long as I have you, I know I'll be okay. That's good. Are you sad without your father around, Arya? Don't worry, I'm fine, because I've got you, Mommy. Ah, that's so sweet of you to say. Say, why do you think Daddy left? Is he not coming back? Do you think he's dead? I don't know why he left or why he isn't coming back yet, but I knew, do know one thing for certain. What's that? He wanted to do something only he can do, and when it's finished he'll get, be back. I know it. I believe it in my heart. Yes, I believe it too. Okay then, off you go. Lessons in school are from 9 to 12 each weekday morning. Okay. Mom may be happy to just wait for him, but I can't accept that. I'm gonna go and find Dad. But if I tell Mom, she'll stop me for sure. I better just keep it a secret then. Welcome to the true Rune Factory 2. The song you just heard, I believe, is called Flying High. Uh, future Gabe will give the full details right now. And this is why I like Rune Factory 2 so much. You play as Kyle, a stupid, dumb guy who's just dumb and stupid, but he's lovable. And you find love, and now you're a culmination of that. You are either Aaron or Arya, two beautiful twin children who in the game don't exist together, but in the intro it shows both of them. If I had a headcanon of it, I'd say you're choosing between one of two twins to play as. But this is what we get. I chose Arya for this, and this will make some slight differences, which we'll get into later. I'll cover those differences as well. Well, let's start playing. Good morning, Arya. Arya, study hard and become a fine adult. We keep our money, 478,662, so, you know, we lost the 100,000 there. We keep all of our skills for some reason. Don't know under- I, I don't understand how that works. We lose all friend progress on everyone. They're not friends with us. They were friends with our father. Also, as you might notice, there's a love level thing. That's weird, huh? We keep all of our friendship with our animals as well. The ancient manuscript it is written in Earth script. It is the first of the plot items. The plot of the game does not start until now. The music changed. We'll call that good for now. Now, now that I think about it, nobody's been using Daddy's hoe and water can. They must be rusted over by now. They've just been sitting in the chest next to the fireplace. I need to learn how to use them. As Arya was just kind enough to point out, we're missing a bunch of items. That's weird. Where's all of our tools? Found the rusty hoe. Found the old water pot. Found the old pole. Found the rusty sickle. Found the rusty axe. Found the old hammer. Time has passed. It has been seven years since the last time we saw any of our characters. And because of that, the rusty hoe, an old battered hoe, used to hoe the fields. The blade is rusty and pitted. The old water pot, an old battered water pot, can be used to water the fields, but most of the water will leak out first. 
the old rusty sickle, an old rusty sickle, can be used to cut weeds and grass. Watch out, as it'll also slice up crops. A rusty axe, an old used axe. So battered and worn that it can't remove tree stumps. Old hammer, an old used hammer. Too worn to break the large rocks, but can still be used to flatten land. All of our tools are worn down and dead. You will no longer be able to charge any of your tools. For instance, there's no charge ever going to form with this thing again. So, how do we fix that? Well, of course, what you do is you just get to work. <laughs> I'm going to take some of these because I'm going to need uh, some healing. Um... Now, normally, these tools are incredibly hard to use com in comparison to the old tools. But, because we've gotten our farming level up to 99, this shouldn't be an issue for us. 2200 wood, exactly. The first thing I would recommend doing is taking a bunch of plots of land and clearing them out. We're going to start farming again here on the farm. Not for income, though. Not even for gifts currently. Eventually, but not right now. Right now, we want to plant a bunch of pink turnip seeds, because we're going to need them. Now, to go over everything that has changed, like I mentioned, if you were to go check out your fields out in there without doing the after 1230 trick, you will find that they will all be destroyed. We'll meet everyone in a little bit. <laughs> Let's stop and talk for a moment. Because of this, it'll be the third of spring. We decided to do that trick, so it is only the second of spring, so we managed to circumvent the storm itself. It still destroys our normal field, but that's fine. A lot has changed. So let's talk to Cammy, Somebody who, by all logic, should be... Like, 18? But also, it could be that she was more like 4 or something? I'm gonna assume that she was 4 in the previous generation. By the way, that is something I've implied multiple times. The first and second generation of this game. The second generation has begun now. I'm gonna say that she was maybe four or five or something. Maybe that's why she is, you know, here in school with us and is only like 11 or 12, maybe. Because otherwise this is The Simpsons and everyone just kind of has a weird aging thing. The more time passes, the less time actually passed. Morning. Morning, Arya. I'll be sure to watch out for you, Arya. Thank you. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Your dad can do anything, Arya. He's a really clever guy. He always helped me out when I need him, too. Where do you think he's gone? Nice to meet you. I'm Serena. And I'm Sarah. I'm Arya. We're twins. Twins. Our dad's Ray. He's a doctor. Our mom's Rosalind. I love to exercise. And I love to read. You should see all the complicated books she gets into. One time she read all the magic books on Dad's bookshelves. Books about magic are so fun. Wow, you understand them? I don't, I don't, but they're still fun. If you're interested in that sort of thing, Arya, you should read them too. Thanks. Well, see you around, Arya. Bye, Arya. Depending on who you marry, the different kids in town will have different parents. Let's say you marry Rosalind. Sarah and Serena here will not be Rosalind's child, obviously. Instead, they will be Yue's child. Yue is the Phil character. Whoever does it, whoever you steal away from their significant other, Yue comes and consoles them and they get married. It's weird, in my opinion, but that's fine. <laughs> Some of it makes sense. Sometimes it's like, ooh, that's it's weird, I don't like it. It's another reason why Mana and Alicia and Yue are the three that you don't have to worry about ruining someone else's love life for. Especially Ray. God, Ray's just such a pure child. Mondays get me all melancholy. 
Melancholy? What's that mean? I don't know, but I've heard grown-ups say it before. Oh. Morning, Aria. Morning, Aria. I hope you can become closer friends, Aria. Yeah. We'll talk to our mom in a minute. Now, there's nothing here. Did none of the other kids make it inside? Did I walk ahead of where they are? That might have been what happened. They were supposed to be in there. I thought. What? I want us to be good friends, Aria. Me too. I thought I saw other kids here, but they're not here, so I don't know what's going on. Let's just talk to our mom and get the first lesson underway. Let's take a lesson. Right. Let's, Let's... Class. Listen carefully and be sure to take notes. This will all be on the test. I'm going to teach a cooking lesson. I'll write a recipe on the board. Be sure to note it down. However, until the workshop is done being built, you won't have anywhere to practice making these recipes. Really? That's a shame. We'll just have to study theory hard until the workshop is finished. We will? I hope the classroom is finished soon, then. I like your lessons, ma'am, so I can live with that. So Dad didn't get the chance to finish building the school. Well, I'll just have to do it myself. Alright. Now we need to pay attention to which one we want to learn. These are recipes. They will make things way easier when we start crafting. So I'm going to take notes. <laughs> I need to grab my book. Okay, we're starting with cooking for beginners. Today I'll teach you a recipe that's quick and easy. Salad. To begin, cut up some cabbage and put it on a plate. So we know that we have to start with cabbage. Then mix in some green grass. Next, sprinkle some diced daikon radish. Then, dice some cucumber over the daikon radish. Add some sliced tomato to improve the presentation. Finally, cut a boiled egg in half and put it on top. There, it's done! Did you understand my instructions? If you don't understand, please ask me again. Next, let's make a sandwich. First, let's get some bread ready. Next, place some sliced cucumber between the bread. Then, add some thinly sliced tomato. While you're at it, add a sliced boiled egg. Finally, add a pink cat for flavor and it's ready. Did you understand my instructions? Yes. Next is a fruit sandwich. The steps are the same, but not the ingredients. First, start with some bread. Then, add some white grass. Next, add some thinly sliced apple. Peel the skin first. Next, add some orange slices. Finally, add a sliced strawberry and it's finished. Did you understand? Pickled turnip is next. This one is simple. Thinly slice a turnip, then pickle it. Did you understand? Finally, we have pickles. This one is simple too. Just thinly slice a cucumber and pickle it. And that's it. With that, we will learn recipes. So when we go and actually unlock the ability to cook, we'll be able to go in there and it'll be like, oh, these are all the ones you've already learned because you succeeded in their lessons. So, yeah. Wait, can I keep doing this? I thought you could only do one per day. We'll, we'll see how this works. Making snacks. Today, we'll make some simple snacks. We'll start by making a cookie. First, break up some butter and then whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. When it gets all fluffy, add some small milk. Finally, add flour. Bake it in the oven, and then when it turns light brown, it's finished. Next is a recipe for dumplings. This one is simple. Get some dumpling powder, knead it with water, and then shape it into a ball. Did you understand? Okay, let's try pancakes next. Start with flour, mix it very well. Next, add small milk. Don't stop stirring. Next, add a small egg. When it's done cooking, sprinkle some honey on top. It will smell terrific. 
Finally, add some sweet powder, then it's finished. Next is popcorn. Be careful not to make too much. There's only one ingredient, corn. Just use the frying pan. Next up is baked apple. Apples are good as is, but baked, they're even better. First, cook an apple. A frying pan works better than an oven for this. Toss in a hot hot fruit to add a sweet flavor, and that's it. You're done. That's all for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, so you're in two. Got it. Alright, then that's awesome. Mondays are always so languid. What does language mean? I don't know, but I hear grown-ups use it sometimes. Yeah. Alright. So this is going to be our life from now on. It's after 9 a.m., and we have plenty of money to spend, as well as plenty of lumber. Let's go visit Mayor Byron. Also, seven years have... Seven years have passed. That made me very concerned for a moment. And yet, during that time, Kyle never finished the thing. Come on, Kyle. Without me, you're nothing. <laughs> All right. You have two options here. You can make the barn larger or the school larger. I would recommend to start with the school. Eventually, definitely do the barn when you can. Finish the school first. It's important. You want to expand the school, eh? Well, what would you like to build? All right. This is a thing. Um, We're going to start with the workshop. A workshop will let you combine weapons and items. It will be an important facility for putting into practice everything you learn in school. There are also numerous items you can only make here. 100 pieces of lumber and 10,000 G will be needed to make the workshop. Are you sure you want to go ahead? Yes. Very well, we'll expand the workshop. It'll be ready tomorrow morning. You want to expand the school? What would you like to build? A library. Oh yes, a library filled with books and knowledge. An excellent idea. You can use it to play a board game called Su Sugoroku. 100 pieces of lumber and 10,000 G will be needed to make the library. Are you sure you want to go ahead? Yes, please. Very well, then we'll expand the school with the library. It'll be ready tomorrow morning. Expand the school. With the dojo is a place of training in both the martial arts and the body and mind. Train hard and you'll surely learn new skills. 100 pieces of lumber, 10,000 G will be need, need to make the dojo. Are you sure you want to go ahead? Yes, please. Very well, then we'll expand the dojo. We'll be ready tomorrow morning. Just to be sure I can't do one of these again. It'll be finished tomorrow morning. Look forward to it. Expansion of the barn. 50 pieces of wood and 5,000 G. Looks like you have the required materials and money. Very well, make the arrangements. Thank you. I'll hire the best. It'll be finished by tomorrow morning. The barn will be finished. Yeah, four levels will be added. Okay. So I didn't realize you could do multiple at once. I thought this was going to take us four days. But that's awesome, actually. Let's talk. Morning. Morning, Arya. The school is yours. Please use it as you see fit. Heck yeah. We're a child! And as such, let's go! You know what's worse than a uh, red-headed earth mate? A child! Morning, Morning Arya! You're just like your father, Arya! Always so full of energy! Not quite as much energy as my Cammy, but still! Good morning. Good morning. Did you like school? I know Orlin can be a somewhat difficult person to talk to, but he really would like to be friends with you. Yeah, if only I knew who Orlin was. He didn't show up for school today. You should take better care of your grandkids. Morning. Morning, Arya. Make lots of friends, Arya. Or else. Morning. Morning, Arya. I'm really hungry today. I'm sure you are. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Hey, Arya, be careful when you run around or you may fall and hurt yourself. Morning. Good morning, Arya. You're a lively thing, just like your daddy, but don't get too crazy. So, like I said, this is an entire new generation with new... me, I guess. Yeah. New quests are now a thing. So, even if you haven't met people... With this character, so long as there's a reasonable amount, like, as long as you should know them, you'll be on here. Uh, we haven't met Yue or Tanya, but we've obviously met them before. 
also ignore what that just said. I didn't, the weird new quest for, no, no, man. What can I do for you today? That's right, raise a doctor now. He did it. I'm so proud of my boy. I want to talk. Morning, Morning Arya. Are you feeling okay, Arya? Good morning, Arya. Be careful not to get hurt when you play. So, Dorothy. I want to say this now while I'm still thinking about it. Dorothy will be different depending on whether you married her or whether you married anyone else. The obvious thing is, like, she'll be at your house most of the time and things like that. You know, that's not what I'm talking about, though. Dorothy here's actual personality will be different. With the help of Kyle inspiring her, she'll be outgoing and super friendly. But without Kyle, she actually marries Barrett, who honestly, that boy deserves everything. The two of them are both the best characters. But he's not outgoing. He couldn't make her, you know, as outgoing as Kyle could have. She's still fairly reserved, but she's an excellent nurse at this point. Good morning, Arya. Don't do anything too dangerous, Arya. So I guess she's left to her research now. Good for her. Papa! I came to talk. Morning, Arya. You look lively today. I want to buy. Don't feel shy about spending that allowance, kid. <laughs> Weird, I know, but we're gonna buy an entire stack of. Oh no, I forgot, I'm full. We need to make a pit stop. We're checking out Blessy Island first. And my big warning if you're, you know, think, oh hey, I'm just gonna go in there, take care of crops, or, you know, grind up monsters or whatever. Don't. Things are a lot worse than they used to be. Monsters are stronger, and you're weaker than Kyle was. We'll get into that later. Eventually, that will change. Uh, she was here. Alright, so as per usual, you can talk, you can go shopping, or you can ask for a bargain. I want a bargain. Ah, you haven't expanded with the workshop, so I can't sell you any of these specials. Ah, we can't do it until tomorrow. Never mind, I'll try to figure out my inventory. Uh, I need one open spot, right now. I'm missing iron right here, I didn't realize I had. Perfect. I want to go shopping, because guys, it is the second again. Fried rice is on the menu. Rice and egg fried together in oil. We need to get people's affection up. And let's make our grandfather love us a little bit. Also, something I forgot to point out. When I say it restarts, I mean it restarts. No one likes you. No one. Not a single person. Not even your own mother loves you. You have a face not even your mother could love. Fried rice. Thanks. How do you know it's my birthday? Fried rice. This is great. Alright. And he'll like us a little bit more now. Okay. Now. We have an open inventory. Let's buy. We're gonna need a lot of energy coming up. So I'd rather have all these growing at once. Even with all my level and everything, it still cost me my entire energy bar thus far. It is almost noon. So I'm gonna head up here, and we're gonna do something smart. We're gonna save, which I don't normally have to do, but they hurt now. Panova Mountains, freezing cold mountains. You can cultivate winter vegetables inside the caves. Danger level, six stars. I believe they were all like one star, one and a half star or something before. We're gonna be careful. As careful as we possibly can be. But I need the energy. Enemies have changed now. What? I'm gonna stop recording here and fix this. Alright, hard cut back to here. Um, I tried to fix this. I thought that everything should work. I forgot that some versions of the game, the glitch thing that I did, the exploit, does not work. 
and I never had to worry about it on my own personal DS because my version works for that. This emulated version does not, and I'm not playing back up to this point in the game. So I did some resetting, and I did the best I could here. So I'm going to not include the clock for a bit while I do some scouting because I need time. Okay, we're only missing some of the turnips here, so that's not that bad. We're missing a couple of the cabbages. Wanna hop? Okay, this isn't that bad then, for here. I don't know what the other dungeons are gonna look like, but I wanted to cover this here. <sighs> oh, wow, that would hurt. So yeah, the monsters are very different from here, and we're not gonna be covering them for a little while. Because of this, I will not be coming in here for the most part. I'll be coming in here for RP, but that's about it. Oh, and while we're here, we may as well do this. I'm pretty sure if we come in here... Yep, sure enough. You can't go in there, are ya? Didn't Mana tell you to stay inside of town? But don't you go in there all the time, Cammy? Well, I'm fine, because I've been there plenty of times. You have? Aren't there monsters in here? Yeah, they're monsters, but the ones around here aren't that tough. I can handle them just fine. Oh. Why are you here anyway? What? Me? Well, uh, it's complicated. Well, just don't go in too deep, okay? I know I won't. Alright. We, uh... Might as well check this real quick. It's fine, for the most part. It's fine. It hurts, but it's fine. This is how it should be without exploits or anything. But, you know, whatever. Alright, let's head over to the school. It's afternoon now. So I believe that means... Oh! The warm sunlight feels so nice. Hi, my name's Liano. Oh, um, nice to meet you. I'm Aria. I'm glad to see another girl here. Uh, well, that's nice, but I'm a boy. What? Sorry, sorry, I thought you were a girl. No, don't worry about it. It happens all the time. My parents are Baird and Dorothy. Remember that, all right? That's all you need to know. I already love you. <laughs> all right. I won't forget, Lionel. Question, though. Where'd you get the blonde hair from? <laughs> it's the start of another week. I like going to school. Nice to meet you. I'm Lan de Saint Coquille. I hope we can be friends, Aria. No introductions necessary, I guess. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Yes? Do you need something? I know you humans like to talk endlessly, but I've got better things to do. Hey, don't be like that. My name's Arya. I'm Orland. I'm Jake and Cecilia's son. Nice to meet you, Orland. I hate spring. I get so tired in the springtime. Alright, and Barrett is the second teacher, which, if you didn't see this one coming, you weren't paying attention during Barrett's quests. Him losing a random book. D Barrett's just a good guy. He's a good guy who doesn't like people getting into fights or doing stupid, adventurous things because that's how you get yourself killed. Instead, Barrett likes educating. He likes talking and seeing things through. He's not big for small talk, but man if he doesn't care about things and he isn't passionate about certain things. I want to talk to you. Why are there monsters in the dungeon outside of town? The monsters come through the gates that connect to the dungeons to the forest of beginnings. Why are there gates there? I don't know that myself. Not much is known about the gates themselves. The Empire uses machines called shifts to summon monsters, but those only work because of the gates enclosed within them. Not even the scholars of the Empire have the knowledge to create new gates on their own. They can only close the gates and open and close them at will. I didn't know that. By the way, why are you curious about the gates anyway? You haven't been going outside of town, have you? No, of course I haven't. That's good. Stay away from the dungeons outside of town. Yes, sir. Yeah. We didn't read your note on the bulletin board. What? We'll get to that in a minute. I want a lesson. Time to start class. 
Okay. This. Um. So theoretically, I should really just, like, go in order? Yeah, I'm gonna do in order because I will care most about Hammer's Axe is its sickles currently. Today I'll be making... I'll be teaching you to make some of the farm tools. Let's start by making an iron hammer. You'll be needing an old hammer. One bronze. After that, you'll be needing one more bronze. Plus a little iron. What do you think? Got it. Next, we'll be making a chopping axe. Use it to collect wood. Start with the base. Start at the base with a rusty axe. Ah, uh, oh, there's and a bronze, and then add an iron to reinforce the blade. Then one more iron, and you're done. What do you think? Got it? Let's end with an iron sickle. Use it, you can use it to cut grass. First, you'll need a rusty sickle. You'll be needing an iron. And then add another iron to really give it the edge. Finally, add an iron, and you're done. Oops, all iron. What do you think? Got it? I have ideas. <laughs> Why did she feel so bad? Alright. I want another lesson. Time to start class. Hammers, axes, and sickles too. First up today, we'll be reviewing how to make a silver hammer. Obviously, you're gonna need to start with an iron hammer. Obviously. Then some silver, but make sure not to use too much. It's not going to be too sturdy if you only use silver, though. So reinforce it with a little, with a little, reinforce it a little with bronze. Use some iron too. You'll need to use one more iron, and then it'll be ready. What do you think? Got it. Next is a lumber axe. First, you'll need to make a chopping axe. Then a silver. Then it's just like making a hammer. Next, you'll need a bronze. Then an iron. Are you getting all this? Finally, add one more iron and you'll be ready. The last thing I'm going to teach you is about is a quality sickle. The first thing you need is an iron sickle. Then use some bronze. You used to working with it yet. Next is an iron. Then another iron. Don't be afraid to use a little force. Last is a silver, and be sure to sharpen the blade. What do you think? Got it? So, pretty straightforward on all those. And, like you might think, alright, class dismissed. See you all tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna make a note real quick. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna call it here. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy service move, we'll be playing through the rest of today, and depending on how long that takes, maybe into the next day after that. It all depends on time. <laughs> I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all enjoy the life of Arya. Bye-bye.